equals 0.65. Uh, n equals 8, determine the probabilities below. Perfect. So we have the probability for x to be 2, probability for x to be less than or equal to 1, and the probability for b to be a greater than 6. Excellent. Okay, so let's discuss this as we discussed the other one. I don't know why this camera is twisting. Okay. So the same idea in this particular problem we have from 0, that's my page 5, from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. They want the probability for x equals 2. That's a binomial, PDF, just one, one element, when with n, p, and x, n, 8, p, 0.65, x is 2, and we will determine this in part A. In part B, they want less than or equal to 1. I have two options. I say PDF with 0 and PDF with 1. Or I can say binomial CDF with 8.65 and 1, and it's guaranteed that it will start from the beginning, from the smallest, till where I wanted it to stop inclusive. So that's the better one. Now, this one, it's asking greater than or equal, greater than seven, greater than six, which is greater than or equal to seven. So I have two options. I either determine a, a binomial PDF of seven, seven here, plus binomial PDF of eight, eight here, right? Or part, another option would be one minus binomial CDF of 8.65 and inclusive 6. So from 1, I subtract all this, including 6, to get the probability of 7 plus the probability of 8. So it doesn't matter which one. So let me share my screen here. So for the first one, we have binomial PDF. Uh, with 8.5, uh, 0.65, sorry, uh, and uh, 2, that was 2, and yes, and I get, let's see, 0 0.0217466, the next one will be binomial CDF, with 8 and 0.65 and 1 and I got 0 0.00357 and the last one will be 1 minus from the beginning I would like to put it in as binomial CDF and it's still the same but this time is 6 for the last one. And it calculates to be 0 0.169126. Any questions before we put them in? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean that. I meant this. Okay. So for probability for x to be 2, uh, round to four decimal places, 0 0.0. 217, four decimal places. Okay, 0 0.0217. Uh, probability for uh, less than or equal to 1, uh, four decimal places. 0 0.0036. And greater than uh, seven, uh, greater than six, which is seven and eight, uh, they want four decimal places. One six nine one. Oh, where did I enter that in air? One six nine one. Uh, 
Good. Anything else we would like to choose from here? Uh, I just had a quick question about the last problem that yes. we did. Mm -hmm. So if you're entering it in the calculator, but it's asking for something um, greater than whatever number, you still include the number in the calculation? If it's careful, very good question. So for example, for this here, if I have x greater than or equal to 4, I have from 4 to 8, so I have 1 minus binomial CDF of 8.653, because I'm subtracting this. If I want the probability for x greater than 4, that is the same with the probability for x to be greater than or equal to 5. These two are the same. Because I, here I cannot include 4. And this I, I have to start at 5. This I have to start at 5, I have to start at 5. So this will be 1 minus binomial CDF of 8.65. And because it's greater than or equal to 5, it's, this is 4 in here. So in this case, I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, oops, 7, 8, okay? So I want strictly greater than 4, which means this. But in order to determine this, I have to subtract from 1 all these. 1 minus binomial CDF of 4. You should always create this little sequence. And you can say, what if I have uh, 20? That's OK. Then 0, 1, 2, 3, 20. And depending on where you want to, to stop. So if you're asked to find x greater or equal to 15, then you know that you have to include 15, but you have to stop at 14. So this will be 1 minus binomial uh, CDF of n p 14. You don't have to list all of them. Is this OK? Yes, thank you. My pleasure, anything. OK, let's see what else we want to look at. Uh, can we take a look at 15? Yes. Let's take a look at 15. Find the mean variance and set a deviation. Awesome. So let me copy. Uh, so this problem has n equals 70 and p equals 0.8. This cannot be easier just for the binomial because we have the mu, which is np, and we have the sigma for this binomial random variable, the square root of this, multiplied by q. So this will be 70 times 0.8, and this will be the square root of 70 times 0.8 times the rest till 1. What is the rest till 1? If p is 0 0.8, how much is q? 0 0.2. That's it. So the square root of 70 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2. So I don't know how many decimals there are decimals, but for sigma, I see that they only want 1. But I'm going to write as many as I can here. 46640, uh, and this is 56. Any questions? OK, so uh, let's uh, enter it. Where is my share screen here? OK, mean, mean is 56. And um, the standard deviation. Oh, they want the variance now. OK, so then I'll multiply uh, 56 by 0 0.2. So that's 11.2. I have a question. Yes. Uh, you know if we'll be able to do this in StackCrunch, or is this all on a calculator? Um, let's take a look. Good question. And the standard deviation round to the nearest tenth it will be 3.3. Okay, 
So we'll look at StatCrunch, but is there anything else from here that we want to look at? Or we can come back to it. So let's look at StatCrunch now. Can we come back? Can we look at 13? Yes, let's look at 13. Uh, 30 percent of households. Very good. Let's take a look. So this is my page six. So uh, let me check, let me check, let me check. 30 percent. So P equals 0 0.3. Um, they would feel secure if they had $50,000 in savings. Okay. You randomly select N, eight households. N equals eight. And ask them if they would feel secure if they had such and such in savings. Find the probability, probability that the number they that say that they would feel secure is exactly five. X equals five, and find the probability for more more than five does not include five, and at most five less than or equal to five. Okay, let's read that again and make sure we understand what's happening here. So find, so 30%, that's the probability of success. Randomly select eight households, that means n equals eight. Find the probability that the number they say they will feel secure such and such, exactly five, that's very clear for part A. For part B, more than five, not equal to five, more than five. And the last one is at most five. Okay, so this is binomial PDF with n, which is 8, p, which is 0.3, x, which is 5. That's done. Now, remember what we said with n equals 8. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Greater than 5, not 5, means this. So I want 1 minus binomial CDF of 8.35. This one, simple. It's only this. I don't need to write 1 minus because the binomial CDF will do the, just that. So binomial CDF of 8.3 and 5. So let's get these with a graphing calculator, and then we'll continue with the same problem in StatCrunch. I have a quick question. Uh, about yes, I'm ready. Oh, go ahead, Emma. Thank you for asking. Go ahead and ask the question. I was just saying I okay. have to answer for the first two. Um, so I just want to, I think I'm tracking this right, but I just want to clarify. So yes. PDF is when it's equal to, not less Yes, than just one element. You can repeat it. You can repeat it, repeat it. So for example, here, I can repeat this plus this plus this plus this. But binomial PDF is just for one element. Cumulative, okay. it starts from zero till where you wanted it to stop. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And then I have the answers if you want me to go. Yes, of course. Yes, please. So for... Okay. So for... Um, Probably x equals 5, I got 0 0.046675. And then for the second one, I got 0 0.01129. And then the last one, I got 0 0.98871. Exactly, because these two have to add up to 1. Awesome. So let's take a look. Round to three decimal places, 0 0.047. Great job. Uh, greater than 5. Um, 0 point, so what do they want? Three decimal point, 0, 1, 1. Great job. And it has to be the complement. 0 point they want 3, 9, 8, 9. Excellent. Okay, so now let's uh, go to StatCrunch. Uh, 
I want um, I want to find the distribution that is binomial. Where is my binomial? I don't want to graph. I calculators binomial. Perfect. Uh, right here at the top. Perfect. Okay. Why it didn't let me? Okay. I want. Uh, do I want standard? Okay. N. N in our case is five. Then the probability is 0.3. Then we want um, we want the equal symbol, and we want five. So we compute. Please compute. Five. I think it automatically oh no 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 no! Because I didn't I put didn't put the correct answer. That's why. So n is eight. Probability is 0.3, and we want five. Okay. Now, yes, exactly what we got. Now um, we want we want uh, greater than five. So we want greater than five, and we get exactly what we just did. Then we want uh, less than or equal to five. And we got exactly what we just did. Uh, also, we can be asked in between. So we let's say we can be asked. So let me stop sharing for a second. Here it is. So what if what if I'm asked now to find the probability that x is um, greater than or equal to two? but less, just less than 6. What will that be? It's 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. Just these four. Let's see if it allows me to, if StatCrunch allows me to do this. I can do it with a calculator, but let's see if it allows me here to put whatever I want or just the equal symbol. I mean less than or equal to. Let's see. No, it does not. So it does not allow me to change these. So we can only determine between 2 and 6, but with a calculator we can. So if I want to determine just between exactly what I wanted between 2 and 6, it will compute. And it will give us 0 0.7434. Any questions here? <laughs> 